Okay, I told my daughter I'd make a video to explain how changing these two little shocks on my vertical door turned into a major job. Now when I installed the door, because the tolerances are so tight, I damaged the front of the door and the front of the fender. So because the door has to be removed when it's in the vertical position and it weighs over 200 pounds, it takes two people, but I'm only one. So I bought this device, which attaches to a floor jack that allows me to pick up the door by myself. So to get to the shocks, you have to remove the door. Since I'm only one person and I couldn't do that, I decided I'd remove the front fender. Well, to remove the front fender, you have to remove the entire bumper cover, which is this. I removed that. Then you have to remove the headlamp assembly. Then you can remove the left front fender. Well, when I got the fender off, I was able to change the shocks and I looked at the hinge to do adjustments. There were none left, so I had to uh, pull the door, pull the hinges, and uh, get out my acetylene torch, and elongate the holes. While I had it all apart, I decided that there were some areas on the bumper cover with stone chips that I repaired. So I took care of that. Then I repaired the damage to the door and the fender. Put some color on the fender. Put the car back together. Did some adjustments. I had to take off all the graphics and all the glue. Then repaint it, put all the graphics back on. So a 10 minute job wound up taking seven days. While I was doing it, I also worked on my GT spoiler. And because I like to mess with people, I painted the winglets. So if you look at it from the driver's side, they look red. But then if you go to the passenger side, I cleared them with the carbon fiber. So from the passenger side, they both look like they're carbon fiber. I just like to mess people mess with people and I didn't know which color I preferred so anyway it's now complete this is how it looks seven days later but the gaps perfect it's all back together and that's what it looks like